Well, greetings and salutations, everybody, and welcome to the next installment of Godfall. That's in the previous part. We just finished off the boss dude, which that was a legit fight. Really pretty cool. Um, just from a graphics standpoint. But um, yeah, then we had to light the beacon. And of course, the next thing is that you get a bonus to activate Twilight Beacons. And so we're going to run this part, meaning that you kill a bunch of baddies along the way. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get the bonus uh, deal for lighting the beacons. And so, um, just want to say thank you everybody for the love and support on the channel. Um, really appreciate the support. You guys have been awesome. And let's go ahead and take a peek and see if there's anything around here. And it does look like there's a green thing up there, so... Go ahead and make sure we can get that. Just short. You're kidding me, Johnny. Oh, man. Like Timmy Tenders is salty at the moment. Confirmed. Yeah, I gotta wait for my shield to recharge before I can throw that back up there. Be cool if you had like a grappling hook where you can just like and then shoot up there. Well, at least that recharged pretty quick. There we go. Got it. Ten suns still. It looks like one of these beacons is really close. Sixty. Uh, it's like it's almost up there or something. I think that's the one we just lit. But let's head this way. That is, it's the one we just lit. So. Uh, that looks like a long fall down. Alright. Scenic route it is, which is cool. This means we get to kill a bunch of people along the way. Or get killed ourselves along the way. So yeah, happy Thanksgiving, everybody, for those that celebrate uh, Thanksgiving. Um, it is official. Today is Thanksgiving, which means Christmas is only like five weeks away. Yeah, let's go play with these guys. These, this dude here is pretty tough, actually. And then this guy comes up and hits me from behind. I'm gonna jump with that dude. Sneaky bugger. Sneaky, sneaky bugger. This one is 400 meters away. What is going on? thing he does. Corruptor. And somehow that hit? Okay. I don't know what that is. Uh, shield's good. Where's your little buddy? There he is. Yeah, the fighting mechanics in here, definitely awesome. It is fun stuff. Yeah, hack and slash, looter, you know, no doubt. And the story, you know, it's got that too. The whole RPG 
aspect of it. Oh, you little bugger. What are you doing back there? You little bugger. Um, saw something. This thing. What is this? Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Meant to throw my whole arm. Oh, that one got stuck again. Yeah, there, uh, believe it or not, there is a shortage of PS5 controllers. Whatever that was, that was pretty fun too. Um, 357. Need to go activate these beacons. Neo five. Oh. What are we doing here? There's a collectible behind there. I think we gotta go up and around. No problem. But yeah, man, getting pretty pumped for Thanksgiving tomorrow. Thanksgiving dinner. What is this one? Or Oren's journal. Let's see. Real quick. Uh, Oren's journal number five. Macros wanted to recruit as many Valarians as possible to fight Silvermane, but any secret spoken is a secret no longer and our band had to know their purpose beforehand. Inevitably, when some of them balked at our goals, Macro insisted that we could not risk them and compromise the mission. I took care of them. Somehow, I'm always taking care of things that no one wanted to name. Macros kept insisting that I do the vile things that made our mission possible. He was my leader, trusting him. I acquiesced. He always sounded so reasonable I should have asked myself why. If what he wanted was so reasonable, did he not do these things himself? True. True. And preach on, preach on. So true. Yeah, get somebody else to do your dirty work. All right, I think we're getting close to our first beacon. Um, and there was uh, da, 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 something gold up here around here. Whoa. Okay, those two guys are it. Oh. No, 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 no. You can't kill them again. Hard. You. Okay, don't know what all that's about. Hog. Okay. See, I don't even know how we get up there. That's what I'm talking about when you just go and have some fun with it a little bit. There is tons of content to do. Ooh, this one is it? It looks purple. Oh, it's just the reflection. Darn you, RTX and HDR. I thought we we're gonna find an epic item, a purple item. I don't know if that's true that they're color coded or not. Where is 
this um i see that there's that up there i gotta figure out how to get up there and got some sort of weirdness thing going on here a bit i hear a chest as well no there is a chest right down there Baddies here. Uh, oh, he's like, man, that guy just came in here and took our loot. Oh, that killed him. Somehow we got to figure out how to get up there. I guess as long as we're going up, we're going the right way. I want to, there's the chest. Like we can hit this one. And see. Pointing that direction. Boy, they are not making these easy anymore. Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. And you guys, what is going on here? I'm just not collecting things, man. I'm just looting, dude. That nice, be cool. It looked like the other one was pointing up this direction. Hmm. That other totem is a mystery. Maybe it's this dude. Maybe? No. Debated. I got debated. <laughs> I really don't know. I don't know. Got hidden up in the tree or something like that? I don't know. Oh, dear. I'm up there. Uh. Just gonna have to give it a break. Definitely look, and I'm not gonna spend too much time looking at that. Come on, go, 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 go. And let's see if we go around the backside here if we see that totem. I do not see this totem at all, man. It is a straight up mystery. Yeah, I do not see it at all. All I know is we're really close to this beacon. Definitely spirit pumice lifestone. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go through all my stuff because I'm sure some of uh, the stuff we've collected so far is better than what we got on right now. Uh, Chronicles of the Wolf. Okay, the last one, I promise. 
Sprinkles of the Wolf. I believe it was number five. Two, three, so I've read that one already. Four, and then it's gotta be five. Uh Chronicles of the Wolf. Um Or and I were separated when Silvermane and Hinterclaw broke their alliance. I was a fully fledged knight of Hinterclaw Claw, blah 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 blah, while Orin was just a newly minted warrior of Silvermane. Leaving Orin felt like I had lost the voice of my better nature. Still, I was a warrior and I needed to make war. So I rent. I mark across the battlefield. None could stop me. I had an idea that something was broken in the world, but I only looked for answers only in battle and victory. It took my reunion with Orn to turn my eyes towards Archons. Interesting. Yeah, so these two brothers, I mean, obviously go have a lot of history. So interesting. Okay. Man, we're so close to this darn uh, Twilight Beacon. Six two two. How do they seem to keep moving around? Three. I think finally may have made it. Okay. Okay. Thought we already lit this one. This is where we go and kind of get into boss fights. Uh, like mini boss fights. So you look for those little red areas that are like up over there. That gold one right there. Hmm. Okay. I don't know what you're doing. That kind of breaking my concentration. Because I know that's that silly chest and it looks. Like, there's the blue orb over here, the totem. So, oh, no, it's just a codec. Damn it. Damn it. I wonder if I can jump down here and not die. That'd be nice. Looks like we're okay. We're okay. Another gold one over there. Let's go over and check that out. sure what we got going on here. Got it. Um, sometimes it's really wonky. You gotta be like standing right at the right place. There we go. We got a moth charm. That's blue. Got a skill unlock too. Check out that. Oh, it's a spirit charm though. Hmm. I think this might be our first charm. No, we got a couple. 
shows how good I've been. Gain 2% Archon Fury Charge whenever you defeat an enemy with a shield throw. Apply the Mark of Leeching whenever you inflict a curse. 5%. Oof. Shoot, man. You know we're wearing that one. That is legit. Let's see if we got any new banners, though. Over health primary. It restores 10 health whenever you hit an enemy. That's for Warhammer. 20% chance to inflict all 45% damage for each element. I like the health one. Take 15% less damage. That's pretty legit. Uh, I don't like the health one. Let's do that. Okay. Onwards and upwards. Two more secret items to find. Let's get some high ground here. What is that? Hmm. I think we have to go up and around on that one. Dear Lord, they're like everywhere. I know we saw that gold object. Hmm. Yeah, no, no need to fight these guys. Really need to find the other two hidden objects. I don't quite know how this... Oh, and it's a codec anyway. Okay. We're good there. Just want to go find these other two hidden items. No, no, no. Finding gold stuff, but I'm not finding the red hidden items. Here at chest. Let's get involved. Hmm. Oh, no, 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 get out of the way. Hmm. Yeah, these guys are being weird and difficult, so. Yeah. Hate to blow my Archon Fury right there, but. That guy was like acting funny. Boy, these uh, two other items, they are seriously hidden. Because I am not seeing anything red around here at all. There's something gold up here. Okay.
like I actually need those health orbs anyway. Nice. I think this could be one of them. Nope. Man, sometimes when you find those uh, armor dudes, that counts as one. gonna be tricky oh, I hope we can hit that oh, I honestly really don't know none of it is lighting up red Normally you can see these guys from pretty far off. There's like a red column that goes up into the sky with these things. Yeah, and this actually takes us kind of back to the beginning. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's where you come in at. Want to cruise up here? And I think but pretty soon we'll just wrap it up. I don't know, something um, definitely is a little weird. Yeah, and if you guys know uh, where the hidden objects are at, because you've done this before, now yeah, feel free to put that in the comments because, whoa, you guys. right up there like that huh nothing place well. Let's go ahead and get involved with these guys. That guy was like holding out. Yeah, I'm sorry. This one, it's got to be glitched because I mean, we should definitely be seeing some red uh, columns like going up into the sky and I'm not seeing anything. Hmm. Looks like good boss fight though. Wow. Like there's a strong person there. Yeah, let's get involved. done all about oh he's an elite dude Wayne Valor at night rank two something whatever that means Shield up, 
It's like a drain or something like that. Yeah, those ninja dudes like attach something to you and like drain you. Overstrike, augment. Man, I gotta go through all the augments too. Interesting stun that they do. Wow, 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 wow. You know, we're just like looking for stuff. This actually would be fun to sit there and fight all these guys, but we're going to go ahead and complete the mission so we can wrap up this episode. And see, talk to Zunin Earthminder. Bring the first sword. Wow, got some more blue the stuff. Seven Sanctum. She's sick. The rites of ascension were not made to be used on a construct. There were bound to be side effects. She's a person. Yes, she thinks. She feels, but she's not a Valorian. We were made by the Archons to be their vessels. She was not. So the Ethereum, it could kill her. She knew the risks, but do not assume the worst yet, Orin. We don't know what will happen. Hmm, interesting. Wow, so the Ethereum that she's holding could kill her. The barrier is down. You are making good progress. Thank you. And you're getting sicker. I'm on my journey. Same as you. It's the Earth Ethereum you took from Zamora. That's what is making you ill. Because you're not a Valorian. Perhaps. But that elemental Ethereum is the key. Without it, nothing else matters. So let's continue. Lunara's shelter no longer has the protection of Macros's magical barrier. But it is still locked. To open it, you will need to gather more realm sigils. Head out and earn the sigils by completing hunt missions. Nice. That is awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and accept that. New skill unlocked. When we come back, um, I will go ahead and take care of the skills. And then when the next episode, what I'll do is um, tell you what those skills were and do a quick uh, overview as far as what items that I've swapped out and upgraded to. And we'll take a look at the character real quick. Probably no more than two, three minutes reviewing it um, in the beginning of the next episode. And then we'll go out and get on with the hunt. So until then, my friends, I will and I shall catch you on the other side. Peace.